Hey, Deep, it's Jobber here. Got a massive collection in the mail today. I ended up paying $900 for this box. Well, not the box, but the cards inside of the box. So uh, hopefully they all came in in excellent condition, which I believe they are. They marked fragile and everything. It looks very well put together. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Please post a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a nice little thumbs up. And on that, let's get cracking. Okay. Sorry I haven't been able to give you guys as many openings as I... Uh, as I want. Don't get me wrong. I love opening product. <laughs> I'll be back opening a lot more of it very soon. Oh yeah, this is nicely packaged. All bubble wrapped. Put that down here. And a bubble wrapped box. Bunch of newspaper to make sure that doesn't move around. Very good. Okay, well, well I guess we will move over. Let's see, I guess we'll go crack open to the yeah, we'll do the box. The mystery box. We'll just open this up right now. <clears throat> See what's inside. Okay. Looks like we're going to be getting mostly bulk in this. Which is good. We all love bulk. You never know when you're going to need a, <laughs> a Blackwood Kalut. And this is how decks are put together. I remember back in the day when I was uh, way back in IOC, going through some old commons. I read Chaos Sorcerer for the first time. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to build a deck around this. <laughs> and that's what born the Kind of like the Chaos Return format. Been playing for a long time. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I don't, it's uh, definitely fake, but really cool looking. It looks kind of neat. I like that. Some of the fake cards do look really, really cool. Let's see what we got over here on the the side of sleeve stuff. GG Crows. Some metal foe action. Hmm. Some really dark, dark bribes. I'm going to I'm going to reach out and say those are definitely Euro print, especially since they are very bent. I don't know exactly why a lot of the Euro print cards, as of lately, I've been getting this weird uh, curve to them. Not necessarily mean it's because they're Euro print, but uh, yeah, these are Euro print. Those are those are bent as well. It's really strange. Like I know in certain areas, if it's uh, more humid, or uh, say you use a swamp cooler or something, if you know what that is. <laughs> Uh, you know, can make your room kind of uh, humid. Really bends cards. It really affects cards like uh, Pokemon card games, like Pokemon. Those foil cards, they really don't like uh, humidity. Well, the rest of those are just going to be uh, bulk commons. I and mean, we can go and get an idea of what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's just it's essentially just bulk commons. So we'll put that in there, and we'll move over to the basically the main part of this video which is that binder over there and seeing how uh, how well the cards arrive which I'm assuming is very well the box itself was packaged very well so and the binder looks very well packaged itself very nice binder too I try to make sure that the binder is staying in good shape and I like to uh, I like to give all of my friends good trade binders and whatnot so they don't have to spend a bunch of, of money that's unnecessary since I can't obviously use the amount of binders that I get. So, try to keep these in good shape. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Like a, like a, almost like a baby blue monster binder. It's very, very thick. <laughs> okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll just get on into it. We got these uh, Japanese god cards there on the bottom, which I'm going to just keep for myself. I think they're really cool. 
and I actually do have a, a binder of just foreign cards like Japanese and stuff like that that I just hold on to. I'm sure some of the cards have some really good value to them, but I really don't care. <laughs> I just like them a lot, so hang on to them. Yeah, I got some uh, some cool foreign cards, a couple of uh, Fog Kings or Ultimate Rare, and we got uh, the Secret Rare one there, as you can see. Maybe a little easier if I just leave it down here and check that all out. So we have uh, three jump blue eyes white dragons. You got the effect veilers. You got, uh, kind of, you got the, the Phantom Knight BA combo here. I really, really like the ultimate rare diamond dudes. We go put those up. Got a little bit of a soft spot for those. Those are Italian as well. Three Italian ultimate rare first edition diamond dudes. There's a lot of foreign cards. Those are French. Uh, Try to look like they are all English, and they are ultimate rare. Uh, French Greffers, right here. The three ultras. Got uh, some Seeker Winter Cherries, ultimate rare DD Crow, and the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Place out of those, ultimate rare. Very cool. Those look Italian to me. Yes, Italian. Mathematicians. <laughs> Actually, I know from just like looking at the name because my friend I play test with him a lot. He ran Italians, so <laughs> got the name remembered. Very cool. And a couple of secret rare pendulum sorcerers. Got a uh, three ultimate rare DD Crows. I mean, not DD Crows. <laughs> Effect failures. Two of them are first edition. One is not. They got a uh, ultimate rare. First edition global. These should be really expensive. Same with the secret card card D's. Oh my gosh, those things first came out. On the sneak peek, I uh, my friend pulled one and he wanted me to sell it for him. So I put it on eBay and I sold it. And it went for $192.50. No joke. That happened. <laughs> Guy was from Italy, actually. They bought it. Uh, we got uh, three secret rare wind up rabbits. Old school original DP03 car trooper. It also was another one of those very expensive cards. Uh, Dark Lord. Let's see, we've got a Plex Predator Zombie up there. Ultimate Rare. It's really cool looking. We have one Italian Dante and one German Dante. Both of them are uh, Seeker in First Edition. Uh, the Italian has. Some edgeware around it. But still playable. Very nice. And number 38. Yeah, Secret Rare First Edition. Steel Sworn Roach right there. It's really cool. And a bunch of random exceeds right in this part of it. <laughs> the Giant Hand. Actually, I wanted that for my extra deck. I could not find one last second. <laughs> Got uh, Ultimate Rare Trishla, Ultimate Rare Cataster, you know, the Void Ogre Dragon, which is really cool. Oh man, the Secret Rare, this Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon is beautiful. That is nice. Very cool. Got a Materia Beast here, Bryonic. And Crimson Blader hasn't really been used a whole lot since the Dragon Ruler format. Uh, Command Tech Fortress Dragon over there. You got the Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, Amulet Dragon, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Some brilliant fusions over here. And we got the there's some there's more of it the artifact. So we have the what are those called? I think they're called the ignitions. <coughs> and there's the the Sanctums will be coming up. So we have a three first edition Ultra Mystical Space Typhoon. These are the three of the original secrets. Uh, Tune Table of Contents, super rare, are really, really nice. They come from the Tournament Pack 6. And if you know anything about Tournament Pack cards, pulling anything foil out of a Tournament Pack <laughs> is very, very uh, hard to do. Some more. Beautiful cards here. Forbidden Lance, one of my uh, all-time favorite spell cards in the game. Ran it in <laughs> every, basically every anti-meta deck that I ever I ever uh, put together. So it's really cool. And what do we have here? Is that German? Looks like a German Imperial Order, first edition. Got a Psalm Strike there, Ultimate Rare. Um, breakthrough Skill. Got 
three super rare Phoenix Moon Wing Blast, Blazing Mirror Force Secret Rare, Ultimate Providence, got a uh, Ultra First Edition Torrential Tribute, very nice. Master Strick, Imperial Iron Walls, uh, a couple of Secret Rare Stormy Mirror Forces up there, it's really cool. Oh, I thought I, I thought this one had uh, Sanctums, and I guess I just had the spell card. <laughs> my my fault. Um, we have basically the entire Yang Zing deck here. It's a really fun deck to play. Got a couple of uh, Terra Tops. Some of the Metal Foe action in here. A couple of Maxis. Rest of the Yang Zing stuff. And some stuff that I just really don't know anything about, but I do respect the card game. <laughs> and then we got the, the very last page here. Got some Swap Frogs, Dupe Frog, Ronin Toten, and uh, the Left Arm Offering. It's actually a really cool spell card that the Infernoid Zodiac deck has been running. So, really cool stuff. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please post a comment down below. Let me know what you uh, what you thought of the collection and whatnot. Give this video a nice little thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of uh, collection openings and whatnot. I'm going to have more going up. Obviously, I love opening uh, product and whatnot, and I have a lot of product to be open. I'm putting all to the side, getting ready for a nice... Uh, nice 2017 for you guys so thank you guys for all your support and uh always watching all my videos and everything and on that jobber here is signing out